if you help the prospect pick out the right vehicle, which is a vehicle they both want and can afford, the payment objection is often a psychological barrier. What do I mean by that? Well, I mean, I mean, their last payment was three fifty. Now the next payment's going to be five fifty. I mean, is that a problem for some people? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, I was working in a Kia store one December, and um, I went in to close a deal. There were two engineers from Georgia Tech, very in uh, intelligent couple, and uh, their payment was five twelve or something on a Kia. And they were having a tough time with the $500 payment because they'd never had a payment that high. I went in there, used this, they closed. Half an hour later, I'm back in the customer lounge. I went back there to see what the football score was, and they're back there waiting to go to F&I. And, I. and uh, they see me, and they wave me over. I go, oh, shit. And they've got a yellow pad of paper. And they're like the happiest couple I've ever seen in my entire life. They said, Steve, we've been using your formula on all of our installment loans. He said, I think we're, we have a negative house payment. Our house payment, is based on its appreciation, is literally negative, and everything else we're paying for is way less than we thought we were paying. Thank you so much. <laughs> now, not everybody is quite that receptive. <laughs> but again, it's a different way of looking at a payment. Um, all right. Um, this strategy helps the customer get up by uh, that psychological barrier, apparently, um, especially when the payment happens to be the highest payment they've ever agreed to. This sales strategy provides the prospect a long-term look at the value of a payment. No customer is ever going to think this way, yet the math is correct and the logic sound. This strategy merely reframes the payment for the customer. A great closer. A great close. What, what's a great? How does a great closer get people to buy? He closes. Yeah, but does he trick them? Techniques. Okay. He explains. It. Well, no, it, it's it's education. It, it's it. technique. It's strategy. It's not pressure. It's not tricking them. It's not a sharp angle backdoor close. Look, if I give Raul all the information he needs to say yes and he decides he can do it, he's going to close himself 100% of the time. I can't close him. He has to close himself. If I can close him, chances are they don't have good enough credit to buy the vehicle. That's the way it is. What a good closer does is they provide the customer the information they need to close themselves, which is using techniques, education, um, using mathematics, Okay, I, I, I'm a huge believer in using mathematics when I'm trying to get a customer to buy a vehicle. Because math doesn't lie. I'm a car salesman, I'm they can be suspicious of me, but the calculus, that's why I always have the customer do, uh, work the numbers. I can do the calculations on my phone, but they, would, they don't have as much legitimacy as when the customer's doing the calculations on their own phone. All right. Tell a great story and do the proper math. It will help your customer justify the payment. Um, empathize. Uh, when I get an objection, whether it be from a consumer or my wife, I always respond the same way. I'm going to get home in about two o'clock. All right, isolate. Eric, other than the monthly payment, everything else is cool. Nothing else stops you from taking the expedition home today, right? right. Why is that so important to do? Because you're confirming that. I'm basically making it more difficult for Eric to object to anything else because I'm going to take care of the payment justification. I don't want Eric jumping up and going, well, how about give me more for the trade then? then? You know, that price is not quite as good as I thought it was going to be. So I always try to isolate the objection. And you know what? Sometimes I get this. No, Steve, once we handle the payment, we've got a trade issue, a price issue, and I ain't putting down no cash. You hate to hear all that, but at least they're laying out what you need to do to, to, to deliver them a car. Yeah. 